Song? You're both in it. Both in? Okay. okay. Coming to you live from the Western Pennsylvania Humane Society, this is Joy on day seven of the SPCA pro-life run. Joy, what got you involved in the uh, Western Pennsylvania Humane Society? What were you doing previously and what led you to come here? Uh, I worked for 34 years at the phone company, um, Verizon, and when I was about to retire, I had raised dogs for 30 years and I thought, what better place to go um, part-time is to the Humane Society and give of my hours there, which I did for a few years and I was having so much fun I decided to come on full-time. So I have now had 10 years uh, with the Humane Society and I've loved every moment of it. What are some of the programs that you offer here at the Western Pennsylvania Humane Society that are out outreach programs into the community? We have a great adoption um, area and our main thing is, is the adoptions. We also have off-site adoptions. Uh, for cats, we um, have off-site uh, pet smarts at least five different pet smarts in the area where we take our cats and have a great record of getting them adopted. We take our dogs to off-site events at different facilities. We had um, a big gift wrapping promotion the whole month of December out at one of our large malls, uh, the mall at Robinson, where we had uh, dogs out and, and uh, therapy dogs were there helping to raise money for the shelter and for their homeless friends back at the shelter. And what makes this facility a little bit more special than some other facilities? You use the term open door facility. What's the difference between an open door facility and a, a, another humane society location? We're an open door shelter, meaning that we don't turn anybody away. Um, no matter what you come in the door with, we will not turn you away and, and tell you to go somewhere else. Some of the other shelters in other counties nearby, they're full. Um, they are full and they can't accept any more animals and they even give people our directions to our facility because they can't take the animals on. So we take animals from any county, um, anybody coming in. And during this Christmas season, it's a miracle time of the year, it's a special time of gift giving. Have you had some real special personal stories of adoption that even today there was a special story that happened today. Could you share with our viewers a little bit about what happened today. We just had a miracle happen today. We had a dog that came in as a stray on December 22nd from Beckley, West Virginia. The people were driving home for Christmas, found the dog in Beckley, West Virginia. Brought it here, we scanned it, it had a microchip. I traced the chip along its route from home again to um, the facility that where they sold the chip to, to a puppy um, mill and then to a pet shop. Uh, at the pet shop I was able to get the owner's name, address, and phone number. Upon calling it, it was a disconnected number. So I hit a dead end. Uh, and they had a very common name and I couldn't even go on the uh, internet and look on the web to find their name. Uh, there was 13 people here in, in Pittsburgh with that same name. Wow. So it looked like a dead end. And here this morning the folks live in Florida that lost this dog as they were driving from Florida through Beckley, West Virginia to La Trobe for their, uh, to their family. They lost the dog in a snowstorm when the husband got out of the car to help a Marine that was stuck in a ditch. And they've been without their beloved dog, Buddy, for this long. Today's the 29th. And they just found out this morning that their dog is here in Pittsburgh. The husband is back in Florida. Uh, the family are, are so despondent, they stayed in La Trobe and they're trying to find Buddy and they found out this morning that Buddy is here. Yeah, well, they are going to be here within the next hour to claim Buddy. And if a person were interested in adopting a pet, what would be the process if they came here to the Western Pennsylvania Humane Society here in Pittsburgh? What would they do? If they... We, we adopt out all animals. We have cats, we have dogs, we have rabbits, we have guinea pigs, hamsters, birds. Um, we'll get snakes. We've had iguanas. Potbelly pig. Potbelly pig. Oh, we, we have a potbelly pig pot right now. Pig. Was found as a stray, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have them all here. And what you just need to do is come, find, fall in love with an animal. You have to have ID. We need you know driver's license if you rent or you own your home. If you rent, we have to have a copy of your lease that you're allowed a pet. Um, if you own, you know that's that's a plus for you. Um, we do adopt out a lot of pit bulls from our shelter. 
Uh, we do do a home visit on those and make sure that the dog is, is in a good home and uh, we do a behavior evaluation on all of our dogs. And how does that, what is a behavior? What goes into a behavior evaluation? Well, we want to see the dog's temperament. We want to see what it's going to do. Um, is it aggressive? Is, is it mild-mannered? Um, we'll do other things like, you know, we'll um, touch it, um, hold it, and uh, we'll, we will touch its so paws. So people know that all the pets that they get here are family-friendly pets. Passed. The dogs have all passed the behavior evaluation. We do a food protocol where we have to put food in a bowl and try to take it from the dog. If the dog is going to bite, we use an assess a hand if it does want to bite the assess a hand. We cannot adopt that dog out. That's a liability. And you were mentioning also about the uh, the dogs. They have a training school here. That we they... have a large, large um, uh, education department. Yeah. We have obedience classes every day of the week. Uh, we train from all levels. We start with a puppy. We have puppy preschool. You start with puppy, advanced puppy, work your way up in, in age. And then if you are so kind and would like to give back to the community, we have a wonderful therapy dog program. You can have your dog tested for the Canine Good Citizen and the Therapy Dog International test. And then you can go out into the public and go to schools and nursing homes and hospitals and visit with those less fortunate. And uh, we talked a little bit about pet adoption, but what about donations? What sort of needs? A lot of people don't realize that 100% is run on donations here at the Western Pennsylvania Humane Society. It's not state funded or federally funded, it's through support from people like you. What are some of the needs that we have here at the Humane Society? Well, we always have a large financial need. Um, that goes without saying. Uh, we uh, use a lot of canned dog food, canned cat food, um, dry food. We need blankets, um, bedding, um, and uh, we also need office supplies. We need paper, we need you know, pens, anything you need for an office because we are, like you said, not funded. Everything is you know, by donation only. So on anything that we have to buy for ourselves to use in our programs, you know, that's taking money from the animal's food. But yeah, we, we can take donations of any kind. And the one thing that's uh, good to know is that each of these uh, animal shelters are independent, and so uh, by volunteering, by donating, and, and adopting, you're helping your local SPCA or Animal Humane Society, and so realize that you can make a positive difference in your community. And one of the things that uh, we talked about a little bit today is about how uh, some of these pets go to the hospitals and, and, and our outreach programs and how do you know what type of pet would fit into the right family situation? What would be... We have a, um, a caninality, a test that we do with the animals where uh, we observe them um, in a, alone in a room, what they're like, what their level of, of activity is. Um, it's, you know, there's, you know, silly dogs, there's real calm, quiet couch potatoes. Um, we sort of go through the dogs and assess their, their temperament, their personality, and we can label them. So when you come in and we ask you what your lifestyle is like, we can sort of point you in the direction of the right dog that would be for your family. Like you, an avid runner, we're not going to, you know, we're going to steer you away from a basset hound, yeah. you know, because he's not going to be out there running with you. Yeah. You know, we would want an athletic dog. You know, so whatever your lifestyle is, we'll, we'll help. Uh, the cats also, we have wonderful volunteers that tell us what our cats are like. Yeah. Um, and if you come in and you want a cat that's going to sit on your lap, you know, on an Afghan all day, we will be able to know which cats are lap cats or which cats are really creative and are going to, you know, be very busy all day. Now, uh, for our viewers at home, they might want to know about your website that you have here at the Western Pennsylvania Humane Society because you were showing me some of the, uh, the photos of the animals that are here at the shelter, as well as some of the events that are coming up, even, even some of the way that people can uh, donate food through some of the programs. Maybe share a little bit about your website. Yeah, we have our, our website is www.wpahumane.org. And you can go to our website. Um, our animals, all of our available animals are on there with a picture. Uh, it's updated four times a day, which is awesome. 